Let's say you're dating a girl, she seems fun, she seems confident, she seems independent, and you've been dating for a couple of months, and at some point you go to meet her parents. And so you go into her family home, and then suddenly, while interacting with her parents or her brothers and sisters, you notice that she changes completely. Her demeanor, her tone of voice, her body language, it's like she becomes a different person. What's happened is that she's shifted frame. While dating you and in a relationship with you, she's existing inside your frame or her frame. That's how you know her. But then suddenly, she's inside her parents' frame. Do you see how powerful this is? The same person can present themselves completely differently just based on whose frame they're existing in in that moment. Frame is like that. When you're in the presence of somebody with a very, very strong, powerful frame, it can pull you in like a vortex. You've probably felt this with other men. Like, have you ever met a guy who's really successful, he's confident, he's ambitious, he's outgoing, and just being in his presence and seeing the world through his eyes, the way that he does, you feel like you get drawn in. Guys like that are awesome to spend time with, not because you're meant to become like a blind follower of whatever they're doing, but because it can be inspirational when you see how strong their frame is and how the world kind of caters to that, it can inspire you to be stronger in your own frame. This is often how male bonding works and it has origins in like our tribal times where we sort of, you know, sense a sort of hierarchy. Like we find like an older man who we admire, who we look up to and we kind of enter into a sort of mentor mentee relationship with that person to become better ourselves. It's quite natural for men, but you need to understand that women are different okay when they encounter a man with a very strong frame it's not that they're inspired like we might be to create a strong frame of her own no a woman has a very different response she wants to live inside that frame and drive all of the benefits and protection that that frame will give her if you haven't seen my very popular video men are islands women are boats you can check that out here but that covers most of these foundational principles the short version is that each man is an island that island exists within his frame and it creates a sort of unique island culture that reflects who he is women are not islands okay women are boats and they sail from island to island testing it out seeing what it's like to live on this man's island or this man's island if she or finds Epstein's one that she island. likes then she settles down she moves onto the island and then through the power of her femininity she improves it she works towards his vision, but it's always happening within the foundational paradigm of his frame. But why do women do this? Why do women want to find a strong, confident man to live inside his frame? The answer is to develop her femininity. You see, it's masculinity that creates the borders around things. That's its job. It's rigid. It's strong. It's powerful. But femininity is more flowing it's beautiful. It's creative. It's emotional. Femininity doesn't want to spend its time creating. Neither do I everything that you need you've got your daily moisturizer your am cream your pm cream your facial scrub it comes with an instruction card that tells you how much to use and when to use it it's all so simple and it's really high quality people love this product check out questions how do i see myself how do i see women how do i see the world and my relationship to it you need to understand yourself intimately because nobody looks at the world objectively without bias that's impossible you have your own life experiences your own opinions your own emotions and these operate as a sort of lens over your eyes. And so everywhere you look, you're interpreting the raw data of the outside world through that lens. You can see how important it is to actually know what's on your lens then. What is your bias? What is your frame? If you think that you're a loser and you're destined to failure, then you're going to interpret all the data from the world as confirming that belief. And likewise, if your lens is that you're a winner and that you're destined for success and well, that you're very happy and help out all the people that you love, then that's much more likely to be how you interpret the data of the world. But it's not just true in a broad sense. It's also operating in very specific circumstances. So let's give an example of that, of someone on a first date. Okay, so you've met this girl, you like her, and you take her out to a restaurant. But when you get there, it's really noisy. There's lots of people talking. It's very crowded. One frame is, this sucks. I don't like this. It's very noisy. It's overcrowded. It's distracting. I feel like I can't get to know you. This is not a good place to be. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's a valid subjective interpretation of what's going on. But another frame is that this is fun. This is lively. This is an exciting atmosphere. I have to lean in close to you in order to be able to hear you. I have to put my arm around your waist as I move through the crowd guiding you so we don't get separated. So which is true? Is it that this place is noisy and overcrowded or is that it's fun, noisy. exciting and lively? The answer comes down purely to your frame. But even though one is not more true than the other, I can tell you as a fact, one of those is a lot more attractive to women. Now, she might enter that restaurant not knowing what to think. Like, oh my God, is this a bad situation? Is this good? I don't know. 
I'm going to look at him and see how he's interpreting the situation. And guess what? If you come out really strong and confident, this is great. This is fun. She'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it is. I'll just go with it. She wants to live inside your frame, which is why if you don't have one or you have a really weak one, she's not going to trust you. And let me tell you a little secret tip about women. And this secret is so secret that most women don't even know it themselves, which is that frame is so important for women that they're not likely to form an opinion about who you are and your quality as a man until they have observed what your frame is about yourself. How do you perceive you? When it comes to your interpretation of yourself, frame is everything. And this might seem completely bizarre to our male mind. Like we can't understand how women could possibly be like this. But let me tell you, women are more likely to trust your perception of yourself than their perception of you. They trust your opinion on who you are more than they trust their own observations. I'm telling you, such is... All right.